Yo, YouTubers. I don't know if the light's not bright enough here at the moment. Yo, YouTubers. There should be light enough, shouldn't it? Anyway, back to HD. I've just um, finished me chicken supreme recipe, right, guys? I just it's rendering now in Tony Vegas, so I'll be uploading that after this video. It's one more beer review. It's before my diet starts, <laughs> for real, like right. Because every time I go in the shops, I see a new beer, right. And what I did was today I had to do me uh, chicken supreme recipe for YouTube, right. And I knew I couldn't start my diet until I got that out the way because it's, you know, chicken supreme, it's got cream in it or whatever, like, I don't know. And I thought, I'll get that out the way first and, you know, put the video together and upload it to YouTube or whatever. So it's rendering now in Sony Vegas, right? So in the meantime, I'm just chilling out, watching a little bit of TV. And I've got a beer review, brand new beer, right? Every time I go in the shops, man, I see a brand new beer, do you know what I mean? It wrecks my head, but... We've got a traditional beer for you today instead of one of those um, citrusy things. So anyway, we'll get on with it. My last beer review until I get rid of my bitch tits, right? Because like I say, I had to eat my chicken supreme. I just finished that now and it was like delicious, right? But the recipe's on the way on YouTube. But this should be up first, this beer review first. I'm doing it in different order, like. So I'll put this one up as quick as I can. But anyway, let's go for it, man. Where's my bottle opener? All right. Brand new beer for us to review. Got the magnifying glass, all right, drum roll. Okay, this is one I've never heard of, never seen. Um, Ad what's it called? Ad Adams Southwold Bitter, 4.1%. What's that say there? Jack Brand, what does Jack Brand mean? Jack Brand. Yeah, trademark since 1912. Well, I've never heard of them. Adams, no, I've heard of, I've heard of Adams, but I'm not sure what. I haven't tried anything by them. Southwold Bitter, so it's bitter this time, right, folks? It's a traditional bitter, right? It's not one of the uh, modern kiddie winkle hoppy things, <laughs> right? So there we go. I got this in Home and Bargain. It was over a pound a bottle. I'm not sure, I can't remember now. It was £1.17 or £1.27. For home and bargain, if it's over a quid, it's quality, isn't it, right? I take it it's a quality beer, I'm sure of it, like. But anyway, it's bitter, right? And I love bitter. It was what my dad used to drink when he was younger. Like, you know, my dad's favourite drink was bitter, you know what I mean? So I always like trying bitter. So, yeah, Adam's Southwold Bitter. And I'm going to read the description. What's it say there? On the top it says, From the Soul Bay Brewery. Well... From the so Adams Southwold, from the Soul Bay Brewery. That's what it says on the top label. From the Soul Bay Brewery. Right, so there's the bottle top there, Adams. Right, it's brand new. Never seen or heard of this one before until the other day. So I've got to try that, got to try that, right. All right, here's the description. It says, Southwold Jack is one of Adam's oldest and most loyal figurehead, figureheads. That's why we've chosen him to be the icon for one of our most famous beers. Southwold Bitter is a beautiful copper-coloured beer with distinctive lingering hoppiness. Now, what kind of hoppiness? Now, that citrusy stuff. Don't get me wrong, I love the stuff, but... I want to taste the real bitter, you know what I mean? Like a like a traditional beer, you know, like a pub beer. Right, so we've got this, right? Nothing else on the, on the bottle there. 4.1%, so it's just right, it's safe, it's not, you know. Um, right, and there's your, that's the character there, the, whatever, what's it called? Southwold Jack. That's Southwold Jack there with his, look at the state of his, the state of his sword, the state of it. And he's got a bell. Is it a bell? Yeah, I'll take it that's the ship's bell. It's got a hatchet as well. Is that a hammer or a hatchet? I don't know. But anyway, a real bitter. Wow. Let's try this. 4.1%, so it's not too too intoxicating. Okay, let's crack it open. Let's keep get on with it before we uh, 
before the camera goes, you know, restarts. Smells like a nice beer. Right, remember this is bitter. It's not Indian Pale Ale or one of those thingy majigs. Right, getting straight on with it. By the way, folks, when I was late, you know, the last video I uploaded, the last beer video, um, I got a copyright, not a copyright strike, it, it was monetized because when I pointed the camera at the telly, a little bit of the, you know, the program Van der Volk from the 70s, that was on it. Right, and I'm using a video camera, it wasn't like, you know, I didn't like put footage onto the actual tape or whatever, onto the video. I just aimed my camera at the television screen, right, and the YouTube algorithm spotted that it was Van der Volk without any words, you know, mentioning the title of the program, no theme music, nothing. How can the, how the algorithm recognise through a camera what the program is on the television screen? It's getting spooky, isn't it, folks? That's spooky. That's like AI. That's like how? No, how in um, 2001? It's like, I recognise Van der Volk on your television screen. How would it know? How does it know? How does it recognise it? How does the algorithm know that what's, what, what was on my television screen was Van der Volk on... Um, on, um, what's it called? Um, oh, what's it called? Moving Pictures or something channel on, on the TV. How did it recognise what it was? How does, what's the signal that's coming from the television screen? Because it's not coming through a wire or nothing. It's just straight from the camera, you know what I mean? Amy camera at the screen. But anyway, let's get on with, what, with what's important. But yeah, I had to go through the YouTube editor and, and edit it out, you know what I mean? That's why there was a little bit of a, you know, like a little edit, like... So I won't do that this time, I won't put my camera at the TV screen this time, you know what I mean? Alright, let's pour the let's pour the beer, let's go. Oh, I love doing this, I love trying beer for the first time, you know what I mean? I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, this looks like a bitter, it does, like it's got a nice head on it. And a bit too much, like, but, you know, <laughs> a bit too much of a head, like. So yeah, I hope you'll appreciate later, guys, when I upload me, um my chicken supreme recipe with fried rice because I don't normally cook it for myself anymore, you know what I mean? It's just one of the first nice recipes I kind of invented. And because of like, you know, it's quite a, quite a lot of calories in the in the white wine stuff, you know, the white sauce. I don't I don't eat it that often anymore, you know, it's very rarely chicken, proper chicken. It's just rare, you know, well, every now and then I have a KFC style thing, you know. But, but you can see the head on that compared to the... Um, the big job beer, look at that. I mean, that's like pub beer. Look at how dark it is. It's bitter, isn't it? It's like, what? Pint of beer. Pint of beer in your local pub. Pint of beer, please, landlord. Let's see what the address is. Well, the head calms down a bit, like. Um, Pint of your finest beer, please, landlord. Suffolk. It says, um, Southwold, Suffolk. South Wold, by the way. Suffolk, England. Remember, you can have too much of a good thing. That's what it says there, right, at the bottom of it, right? Remember, you can have too much of a good thing. <laughs> I've got hiccups, I haven't even had a swig yet. Yeah, 4.1%. Right, so it's kind of mild compared to some of the 7%ers and the 8%ers I've been drinking recently. So I shouldn't have my heart attack just yet, like folks, you know what I mean? It should be a little bit later. A little bit later down the line when my heart attack happens, isn't it? Like, <laughs> buy a better time, you know, go down to 4%. Trying to buy a better time. All right, yeah, that's a proper, that is a pub beer, isn't it? Look at that. It's like, go out, you finest bear there, landlord. Look how dark that is. Dark, and it's a bit like a nuky brown, isn't it? Right, okay. Ooh, I haven't had a bitter for ages, guys, you know what I mean? I, like, John Smith's is a nice bitter, but it's, it's not strong enough. It's like 3 point something percent or something, you know what I mean? It's got to be at least 4%, hasn't it, to make it... The only time you drink 3 point something percent is if you're drinking Bud Light or something. And you want to do like, um, you know, play the guitar or whatever. Or you're in a pub and the stuff on draft in the pub. 
is um, is three point something percent. I'm just watching the telly. There's like a life drawing program on, and 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 there's a woman, and she's she's had a mastectomy. And she's she's only got one uh, boob. You know, it's like a bit shocking, like you know what I mean. I should turn over, like, because I don't usually watch this channel. It looks like just by accident, I'll just turn over, like. All right. Okay. First taste, guys. First taste. Southwold. Southwold bitter. Adams. Southwold bitter. Let's go. First taste of bitter for a long time. Mm. And it's exactly that. It's a real bitter. Bitter. It's got like a not a corky flavour that you might be familiar with with bitter. It is like old school bitter from the pub. I mean, I don't know. There's not much more I can add to that. It does remind me of Newcastle Brown. Um, if I start throwing wobblies and throwing mad tempers and that on camera, it's because it's real bitter, you know. <laughs> like, because you're actually feeling a bit bitter about the past and a bit bitter about how life has turned out and that, like, feeling the bitterness and that, like. Oh man, it's not bad that, it's not bad, it's a full body bitter, right, and it's got that kind of whiny, oh man, what's the word, what's the word, but corky, whiny, after flavour, <laughs> it's, it's quite whiny. I don't know if I can down this whole pint in half an hour, because I've just had my chicken supreme. But yeah, it's food and drink night tonight, isn't it? I mean, I'm actually... And um, by the way, I don't know if I'll do any more recipes because they're like the, the three recipes that I'll be posting. Now that I've done the pizza, haven't I? I've done the noodles with vegetables. And the um, and the Chicken Supreme is my other major discovery. Where it was, you know, like a, a taste sensation, shall we say. And it turned out great when I cooked it. Like, you know, when I did the rice. Remember that... I, there's two lessons in one, folks. There's Chicken Supreme and there's how to do perfect fried rice. So, keep an eye out for it. I'll be uploading it soon. I don't know whether it'll be up before I put... I'll be putting this one up first. The beer review first. And then, um, yeah. So, keep an eye out for me, Chicken Supreme. If you're not really interested in Chicken Supreme, but you want to know how to make fried rice or boiled rice even, perfect, perfect rice. Stay tuned. Watch me channel. And um, uh, it actually turned out perfect on film, you know. Okay, back to this. Dark, oh, look at that. Ooh. I mean, that's like, that's old school. That's, you know, when I was a kid, my dad used to bring pints of beer in for me from the pub, right? You know, he used to drink bitter, Tetley's Bitter. My dad was a Tetley Bitter man, Tetley's Bitter man. Hardly ever drank shorts, my dad. You know, like, where he didn't like whiskey. His favourite short was Sherry Brandy, because it was like sweet, he had a sweet tooth. Right, but sometimes he'd come in from the pub, which was just next door to where we lived. And, um, you know, when you can't finish your last pint, and, they, you know, last, go on, everyone leave the pub, blah, blah, blah. So what he'd do is he'd put the final pint, if he couldn't drink it, in his pockets and carry it out. And me older brother, he's a year older than me, older sister, she's like three years older than me. They didn't want to drink, they, they had no interest in drinking or alcohol, you see, but me, I was only like, no, I was a boy, you know what I mean, I was a kid, and I, he'd go, got a pint of beer, there, if you want it, like, you know what I mean, I'd be like, go ahead, and, you know, one pint of beer to a kid, I used to be pissed and really merry and happy, like, so, that's what bitter does, it brings back memories when I was a kid drinking bitter, you know, Opelier, Opelier, Opelier. <laughs> That's a Viking <laughs> declaration. Oh. Mm. I'm enjoying that. It's like a real bit bitter, like a real old school bitter. It hasn't kicked in just yet, you know what I mean? That's why I try and keep these videos going for like say half an hour, 25 minutes, half an hour. It, it, this, the camera immediately automatically starts filming on a new clip after 27 minutes or something. I don't know why, why digital cameras do that, you know what I mean, but... Hold on, my neck's got a crick in it. Like, listen to me neck, if you can capture the sound of it on film, listen. Oh! <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, I had some damage to my neck once, you know what I mean? Some beard fell on my head once. But anyway. <laughs> some chick fell on my head once when I was like, you know, slit, like sort of drunk on a, with your head on the arm of a sofa. And she was taking her shoes off and she hopped backwards and fell on my head like so. I was, she, I think she broke my neck, you know what I mean? It's been a bit weird ever since. But um, I was murdered by a bum, basically, you know what I mean? She actually, <laughs> she actually broke my neck with a bum. You know what I mean? But murdered by a bum, like. Bum to death, like. That sounds terrible, I don't like bum to death. That's more like something what might happen to Elton John or something, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> terrible thing to say that, isn't it? Um, That's the beauty of not being monetized, you know, folks. If you don't monetize your videos on YouTube, the advertisers can't complain and go, oh, that's unsuitable, we can't put adverts on that, you know. But as soon as you monetize, you're doing a deal, you're telling YouTube, do they're your boss. All right, it's quite gassy. The head's still there. All right, I'll have a few more swigs. I'm down in as fast as I can. Right, now here's the test. What's this, mate? So, you know what I'm saying? When I, I do this, the, the angle thing, right? Look, look at the difference between that one and then previous drinks. <laughs> Put the foam on that. Foam home. Foam home. Foam home. You see that? You see why I do that now? Because um, it's very important. <laughs> it's very important, like, that the head is still there from the, near the bottom of the glass, right? Or the drinks, you know, it's just not there at all. Some drinks are just there a little bit, like a ring around the edge. Some bit, it's like a little bit of bubbles in the middle. That, it's, it's there, look, the, the head is there. All over the top. Now that's a British beer thing, isn't it? Undoubtedly. The more Americanized the beer becomes. Or, you know, Indian Pale Ale. Right? That, that part, apparently, Indian Pale Ale was. It was created in America, wasn't it? By uh, American Indians, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> you see, the Indians were like Pakistani Indians, the Indians talking like this. But Indians from India, I think, I think Americans invented it, America, I think American Indians invented it, probably. Mm. I'm feeling merry, I'm feeling warmed up. Um, oh man, what's that remind me of? Newkey Brown, Newcastle Brown, right? In the same shop, right, B&M, uh, sorry, Home and Bargain, in the same shop, Home and Bargain. This was like, I think it was 120, I think it was 120, 27 or something. But, like, a bottle of Newkey Brown was 175, so it just shows you how, what, how good Newkey Brown is. Even in a bargain shop, it's like 160 something, 170 something. You know what I mean? It's a quality beer, Newkey Brown, you know what I mean? You get, you get what it's... You get the full Monty off it, don't you? But anyway, that's like, it reminds me of, it reminds me of, um, oh, it's coming to me, it's coming to me. Oh man, yeah, I've tried, all the bitters I've tried. Um, <laughs> I just, all I can say is it's, it's, it's just like a typical pub bitter. If that's what you like, you know, that, that kind of thing, if that's what you like. Mm. Nuki Brown, yeah, that's, the, that's what it reminds me of. That's the nearest thing I can compare it to, I think. Um, a bit like a ruby ale, as well, a bit like a ruby ale. Not spectacular, not mind blowing. It's what it says on the tin, you know, like a like a kind of British 
you know, typical British beer. Um, full bodied, full bodied. Crap, crap label, crap picture, you know what I mean? What's, what's, a, what's, a, what's a British fella doing with a scimitar, like, you know? Where's he supposed to be from, like, Spain or something, like? What's that all about, like? Looks like a, like he's, he's been to a fancy dress party and the naffest costume he could buy, like. And no one wants to talk to him, like, so he's standing there like a bell end, isn't he? Looking like a bell end, thinking, why did I get this costume? <laughs> anyway. <sighs> Shouldn't really down this too fast, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I, I like to get it in, and, you know. I don't drink this fast normally, folks. I drink quite slow, you know what I mean? But it's a good way of monitoring the hit. You know, I down the whole thing in one of the club, you know what I mean? I go, 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 and they go, wow, it's done this, it's done that. But, you know, that would be disgusting, wouldn't it? It'd make all my relatives who watch YouTube ashamed of me and that. <laughs> I'm not a preacher, I'm not a pastor, I'm not a holy man, you know what I mean? It's all right to drink, trust me. You know, all them guidelines in the Bible, they, people don't get that, like, they all think, you know, when you read the Bible and it says, stay away from song, drink, and all that kind of stuff, right? It's aimed at ministers, it's aimed at pastors, ministers, preachers, vicars, priests, holy men in charge of a congregation. They're not likely to want to get bevied, are they, you know what I mean? It's like, it's common sense, isn't it? You know... Wow, I have to keep repeating that to people just in case they might watch my channel and the, the zealots or they believe or whatever. I was like, Bruce, it's, it's a shame, shame he's supposed to believe in God and all that and he's still drinking and that. Like, so, non alcoholic folks, I don't need to drink every day. I know it seems that like, I don't know the way I do these reviews, but I don't tell you a bit of space. I did have a drink last night though, I admit, like, you know, <laughs> I didn't review that because I've already done it, like. Oh, my, my tap just made a noise out the blue. I'm going to try and get this down my neck as quick as I can and I'll give you a, a good... Oh, it's warm, it's warm, it's warmy. Feeling kind of merry. The foam's still there. Foam, home. Elliot. Ouch. <laughs> foam, home. Yeah, man. how dark it is. Yeah, so it's an old school drink that. It's one you'd like, you share with your granddad, innit? You know what I mean? You go see your own uncle, Uncle Tommy or Uncle Fred or granddad. And you go like, got some drinks for your granddad. And you go, oh, oh thanks, son. That's, that's what, that's all. Oh, that's a nice bit of that. Perfect old school, old person bit of that. Or your granny, like, if she's up for it, like. <laughs> Trying to do a rush job, mate. Get the pause button on before the 25 minute mark. There's no indicator on the screen, it doesn't tell me. I can't see on that screen. It's like 20 minutes or whatever, like, I can't tell, like, so I have to guess, you know what I mean? And, Oh man, you know what's weird, man? You know when that happens to me when I make a video and it and it pauses automatically and then starts another clip automatically, right? Say I've done a video and it's in two parts, right, folks? And it'll be like, I'll upload it on YouTube, it'll say, blah, 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 part one, blah, 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 part two, right? You know what I can't understand? I'll check the views, right? And like the first part will have like, say, 20 views or something, right? And the second part will have like eight views or something. And I think, why aren't they like going on to the next part? So the both of them have got like 20 views. Because they're both part of the same video, you know what I mean? So there's got to be bots, hasn't it? You know, they check it out or something. Something checks it out. Because if it was human beings, they go, you know, I know when I watch a video on YouTube, if it's in two parts, I usually watch the second part as well, you know what I mean? Or the third part and the fourth part. You know... But I can never understand that, you know, some of my videos on YouTube in the parts, it says, like the one when I went to the Yoko Ono um, exhibition in Liverpool, it's in a few parts, isn't it, because this camera, I have to, 
I can't edit the clips together, you know what I mean? So, I, you know, I pause it myself so many times and then I upload the videos one at a time and you think that each video, you know, the an entire video, like say, I don't know how many videos there are, 10 videos or something from the same day, from the same exhibition. All these artefacts, John Lennon artefacts and stuff and a very interesting material if you're into John Lennon and the Beatles or whatever, right? From Yoko Ono's private collection. And like part one will be like 10 views, part two will be like three views, part three will be five views. And I'll be like, why aren't they all got the same amount of views? Why aren't people like watching it con consecutively? Thinking, wow, I'm watching the next one, I'm watching it. Because you don't watch them. It's a mystery, you know, YouTube's a mystery, man. My channel's bugged though, innit? It's got to be bugged. Anyway, I'm starting to... See, I told you, I guess I start getting bitter. <laughs> I'm drinking bitter, I start getting bitter, like, complaining about something, like, that's a good sign, it's a real bitter, like... Oh, oh, the missus, oh, she never understands me. Oh, oh, bloody cars these days on the road. Oh, people want to get them back on the bicycles like me. Well, that's got a familiar taste, but no one will know the beer I'm talking about, like. I'm not a big bitter drinker actually. This my this one bottle, I've got four bottles. So I'm drinking this one, I've got three bottles left. This might this one bottle might do me all night, you know, I might be able to just chill out on that one bottle, I don't know. I'll put the in the comments section tomorrow, like, you know what I mean? So how it went. Right. Right, let's go to they wouldn't understand a good old fashioned drink like this, would they? They wouldn't know, they want lines of crack, lines of cocaine and crack pipes. And bloody weed. Some of the kids these days, you can't even go to the shops without being stoned. <laughs> bitter, 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 bloody bitter people. Bitter. <laughs> Alright, let's finish it off, man. Yeah, it's not my cup of tea, you know what I mean? Bitter's not my cup of tea, but it's old school, old familiar, like. It just reminds me when I was a kid, when I was about eight years old, pissed off my head. My dad made me do it, my dad made me do it. <laughs> oh, I hope that didn't pick up. I don't like a sort of like little belt, so yeah. Yeah, it's quite typical, typical bitter. And it's alright, if you like bitter. <sighs> a bit bloated though, you know, because of me uh, chicken supreme. Mm. Yeah, like a chestnutty, chestnutty, corky flavour to it. <sighs> yeah, nutty. Nutty. None of that citrusy stuff, none of that real beer. And um, yeah, it's starting to go to my head now, like. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna have like, the biggest belch on earth now, you know. Imagine if I belch and threw up on camera. <laughs> it's like, I think we're gonna be bleh, and bleh over the camera, like just blash. <laughs> I'd still put it up on YouTube if that happens, you know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Ooh. Kinda giddy here, mate. Kinda giddy. Alright. Well, I'm gonna wrap it up there anyway, so that's that one. Uh, I, I seriously mean it this time, folks. This might be my last review for a long time. I thought... I've got to do an old school bitter, just for old school sakes. Any old men watching, any old age pensioners, any, you know, Uncle Tom and old Uncle Frank and that, like, this is your kind of beer, guys, right? This is not like a young man's beer, really. 
definitely aimed at the middle age or old school pensioners that like unless you're some kind of like reincarnation like you know <laughs> if you walk around with a flat cap on like and you're like 12 years old you're definitely a reincarnation aren't you or you watch too much Peaky Blinders well yeah alright I think this was a nice drink nah me impersonation just not on the move for impersonations Um. Yeah, it's alright, and it's got like an old school label, I think it looks kind of 70s, like, you know, but yeah, it's all right, that, it's nice. It reminds me of a lot of beers, it reminds me of a lot, but I just can't think of them offhand. Um, yeah, 4.1%, it's not too strong, it's not going to send me wild. Anyway, I better get off, pause it before it goes off, thing, and before I break wind on camera, just in case. Alright. Check it out yourselves if you like it. I got that in home, home bargain. Quite a decent price. It's, it's a quality beer, actually. It's actually quality. It's nice. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Because I'm not really big on bitter. Right, but I'll give it an 8 out of 10 because it's nice. It's quality. It's it's alright. It's, uh, it's okay. I'm feeling happy. Alright, I'm getting off. I'll upload this straight away. And then uh, me... Chicken Supreme recipe coming up tonight. Alright, stay tuned. Okay, thanks for watching. Last beer review for ages. Right, I mean it, I've, got, I've definitely got to stop drinking for a while. Not on morality grounds, just purely I need to lose weight. I've got the Chicken Supreme out the way. I've, the, I've had the ingredients in my cupboard for like... How long ago did I buy that? Nearly two weeks ago, you know what I mean? I was thinking... Got to film this Chicken Supreme recipe. Wow, you see that moth land by me then? Got to film the Chicken Supreme recipe and then I won't eat that ever again. Or, you know, it'll be a long time because it's like, it's quite a heavy meal, right? But yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll, um, as soon as I've got rid of my bitch tits, I'll be back and I'll be, you know, maintaining my weight and reviewing more beers. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later. Comments below, comments below.